Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Our text for this Easter morning are Genesis 2, 1 through Thus the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array. By the seventh day God had finished the work he had been doing, so on the seventh day he rested from all his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. The second text is Psalm 31. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your ear to me. Come quickly to my rescue. Be my rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. Since you are my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your name, lead and guide me. Keep me free from the trap that is set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Deliver me, Lord, my faithful God. I hate those who cling to worthless idols. As for me, I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your love, for you saw my affliction and knew the anguish of my soul. You have not given me into the hands of the enemy but have set my feet in a spacious place. Be merciful to me, Lord, for I am in distress. My eyes grow weak with sorrow, my soul and body with grief. My life is consumed by anguish and my years by groaning. My strength fails because of my affliction and my bones grow weak. Because of all my enemies, I am the utter contempt of my neighbors and an object of dread to my closest friends. Those who see me on the street flee from me. I am forgotten as though I were dead. I have become like broken pottery. For I hear many whispering terror on every side. They conspire against me and plot to take my life. But I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies, from those who pursue me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your unfailing love. Let me not be put to shame. Lord, for I have cried out to you. But let the wicked be put to shame and be silent in the realm of the dead. Let their lying lips be silenced. For with pride and contempt they speak arrogantly against the righteous. How abundant are the good things that you have stored up for those who fear you, that you bestow in the sight of all on those who take refuge in you. In the shelter of your presence, you hide them from all human intrigues. You keep them safe in your dwelling from accusing tongues. Praise be to the Lord, for he showed me the wonders of his love when I was in a city under siege. In my alarm, I said, I am cut off from your sight. Yet you heard my cry for mercy when I called to you for help. Love the Lord, all you faithful people. The Lord preserves those who are true to him, but the proud he pays back in full. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. These words sound so familiar to the anguish and the cries of our heart in the midst of what we're going through these days. The gospel text comes from John 20, verses 11 through 18. This is what took place after Jesus' death. Mary had 
gone to the tomb in the morning and found that it was empty. She ran back to the disciples, who then ran to the tomb to find the same situation, an empty tomb with just the burial cloths remaining. The disciples went back home. And John 20, 11 records that now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. And as she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white, seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken away my Lord, she said, and I don't know where they put him. At this she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. And Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to God.